In this video, we're going to take an in-depth look at how to set up and use linked orders in the ProRealTime platform. For example, a market order with a linked target order and stop order, or a limit order linked to a target and stop order. Let's begin by opening the Options menu, going to Options here, and selecting Trading Options. Go to the Order Interface section. The order types in the left side of the window here can be used as a main order, which can have a target and stop linked to them. Trailing stop, horizontal limit, horizontal stop, stop with limit protection at market order. This box displays the possibility to add a stop and target leg to your orders. Make sure that is checked if you want to set up a multiple leg order. Now let's see a basic example with a horizontal limit order. You can choose the quantity of the order right here. The horizontal limit is here. We'll select that we want to associate the stop order and the target order by checking these two boxes. Then select the limit order by left clicking here. Move the mouse to the chart to place the order. My first click will place the buy limit order. Then the second click will let me place the target order. The third click will let me place the stop order. In the previous example, we set the stop and target order by manually clicking on a price on the chart. You can also set the stop and target to be a predefined distance from the main order in order to place your orders more quickly. To do that, bring your mouse over the little hand icon shown here, and you can change the type of stop. For example, stop, trailing stop, stop with limit protection. And you can also choose the placement method. Previously, we're on choose price on chart. Here, we can choose a distance from the main order. For example, 10 points per contract. Since we are working with a future contract, the DAX future here, the distance is in points per contract. It will be pips on the Forex or percent for a stock. We can do the same thing with the target order here. Just choose the distance, points per contract. Let's cancel the orders on the chart here and place a new limit order. As you can see, this limit order has a target and stop associated to it with a predefined distance of 10 points per contract for the stop or 20 points per contract for the target. Place the order by clicking on the chart. As we can see in the video here, the main order was executed and now the stop and target legs are active. If we let this position run, only one of the stop or target will be executed, the other will be automatically cancelled. You can also see this on the chart by the OR marker right here. Let's close this position manually and look at another example. We can see that the target order and the stop order were also automatically cancelled when we close the position. Now let's look at an example of a market order with a linked target and stop. This can be done either from the chart or from the order book. We use the buy or sell market buttons to place market orders and make sure the associated stop and target boxes are checked. Let's do a buy order. We see we've immediately opened a position here with the associated target and stops. Let's now close this position we can also choose to place market orders 
with targets and stops at a manually chosen distance. For this, let's choose select price on the chart for both the stop and the target order. First going to click the sell button here to place a sell market order. Then I click on the chart to place the target and stop. Now let's see how to add a target and stop to a pre-existing position that didn't previously have a target and stop. Let's just enter the market with a buy order first. Now you can see I have a position here that does not have a target or stop. The best way to add a target and stop to an open position is with an OCO order. You can activate the OCO in your order interface right here. Just check the box, one cancels the other. I choose OCO and my types of order. Order one will be a limit order if I want that to be a target. Order two will be a stop, stop with limit protection or a trailing stop. Let's choose trailing stop. Now we can see my first order is a limit. My second order is a trailing stop as indicated by the TS. Click here to place your OCO order. First, I will place my target order. Then I will place my trailing stop order. Only one of these two orders will be executed. The other will be automatically canceled. OCO orders can also be used to enter the market. Let's look at an example. I'm going to draw two lines on the chart. Say I want to sell if this line is crossed and I want to buy if this line is crossed. I can choose the OCO order here and I'm going to select a stop for the first order and also a stop for the second order. Click here to place my OCO order. So I'm going to buy if the first line is crossed. So I place my buy stop order here and I want to sell if the second line is crossed. And so I'm going to set my sell stop order here. Only one of these two orders will be executed. To learn more, click on one of the links that appears on the screen.